Visual Honey. Hi everyone. So I have a new pet, or more like new pets, and they are ants. This is my Harpernathus venator, and he is. I mean, she is trying to take the cricket and bring it back home. Look at it though. It's so cute. <laughs> And it's on her body right behind her and look at her pull the cricket into the tube and she's just checking the surroundings sniff 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 <laughs> So the worker at the front is keeping the cricket safe and checking for any extra food and they are working together to bring it into the nest. And now let's take a look at what happens next. Now once it's in a nest, let's take a closer look at the ants. So there are three workers and there's a queen. Can you spot the queen? She's right there on the right at the corner and she's basically just waiting as the workers are working hard so you can see the worker trying to pull it in and i think it's trying to ask for some help but obviously no one is helping <laughs> so then you can see how it tries to pull it in deeper into the nest and I did not speed up the video because I wanted to show you how they move in real time. And look, let's see if they're going to help. Oh, looks like the worker is going to do it all by herself. So I took a video of them with flash and I'm sorry for how messy the formicarium looks but because I actually placed sand inside the nest and they actually put the sand there and I have refilled the sand for them since then because it helps them to helps the larvae to form the cocoons when they are ready. So look, the worker is pulling the cricket over to where the group is at and the larvae is trying to go inside the cricket and just suck up their food and they're actually very calm I would say and look at how big their incisors and their eyes are and how unique their body looks it's so interesting And the other worker is constantly checking the art world, which I find very interesting. I never thought I would say this, but I seriously think that they are so cute. And look, the larvae is trying to get to the cricket. And if you see the cricket moving, that's actually spasms. It's not actually alive. speed up this part of the video and you can actually see the larvae feeding on the cricket. If you have any suggestions for this new colony of mine, you can leave a comment below in the video and I'll show you my Odontoponera denticulata next. So this colony is also very new. There's only the queen and the bird right now some cocoons and she's actually quite sensitive and fidgetive and really quick to react to any movements and changes in like light and temperature and if we take a look at her right now she's hiding because of the light and there's also sand here 
and after she became less affected by the light from the flesh um, she actually went to bite on the cricket to open it up to open the exoskeleton so that the larvae can feed on the cricket more easily and you can look at her more clearly as I zoom in onto her just look at her she's so gorgeous and you can see the larvae of the colony here they're so spiky and they're so cute so if you have any name suggestions for this colony as well, you can also leave a comment below. I'm not too sure what the larvae is doing though. But you can see one really big larvae just feeding on the cricket. And the queen is trying to break it open with his incisors. Let us observe her now in silence as she works hard for her colony. Bye bye queen, I hope you enjoyed your cricket. I hope you enjoyed listening and looking at my ends and look forward to more such videos in the future and if you like this video, give me a like and a subscribe. See you! Bye!